Well guys, on our way down to Detroit, doing a whole 11 and a half kilometers an hour. <laughs> so it should be at the mouth of the um, Lake Erie, probably about five o'clock. It's uh, um, 11 now. Yeah, it should be there by five. Um, but yeah. And hopefully the storm doesn't last too long and then we'll be able to make it out to the island and then spend a couple days out at the island It'll be a good trip nice Accidentally a pause. <laughs> Wait. Nice. Like we got Aladdin playing on the big screen up there. <laughs> Caesars. Definitely a lot in playing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's cool though. Alright guys, so still uh oh, still just chillaxing, moseying on my way. <laughs> Cheers. I'm gonna stop and watch movie. <laughs> Alright guys, so just left the Amherstburg, stopped on the, uh, the wall there, made a coffee, waited for a ship to come in. So now I'm literally at the entrance of the Lake Erie. So, got some probably two foot waves. It's pretty good. Yeah, she definitely. <laughs> so it's about uh, 25 kilometers from here to the island, and I'm doing 10 kilometers an hour, so two and a half, three hours, I'll be on the island, and hopefully by then the storm will be through. Um, so I hope to be anchored at the island by the time the storm hits and I'll ride that out for the next day and probably from there I'll hit the Leamington Marina and I'm gonna see about hopefully I'll be in Leamington Marina by Thursday it's Tuesday now so hopefully I'll be in Leamington Marina Thursday night I'm gonna leave it there for the weekend because um, I gotta go to work um, and then head back out um, Sunday night, Monday morning, and then hit Rondo Bay for the rest of next week. So, yeah. I was just going to uh, 
take the weekend off work because I don't think my boss would have a problem with it, but he needs me, so I'm going to be there. <laughs> All right. Cheers, guys. If I get a chance, I will set up the uh, my gimbal up on the roof. That way it, it's level and you'll just see the boat going up and down. <laughs> All right. Cheers. I'm gonna race this guy to the island. <laughs> well, guys, got the uh, Osmo set up, so see how you like the water. <laughs> Tip that down a bit. <coughs> Guys, gonna shut her down there. Well, guys, we're here. <laughs> Swig. Sorry about the wind noise. It's definitely gonna be bad. Wow, the cormorants are really bad this year. Birds everywhere. I don't know how well you can see. It's a little rougher than normal, so we're going to try the other side of the island. I'm 
Well, the other side's pretty rough. This this side's pretty calm. Um, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, she's an absolutely beautiful night now. Absolutely gorgeous. But as I said, we are going to be having a quite a storm coming in. So I definitely might have to move to the other island by tomorrow or tonight. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. So I got back anchor just so I don't swing as much. And probably got a boat. It's about 10 to 12 foot where I'm sitting. It's all under rock. So I'm hoping my anchor holds. Um, yep. Cool. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, I got my anchor down. Probably got about 50 feet of line out. Tied so she's in the center. <coughs> Sweet. But it's time to make something to eat. Starving. Alrighty. Okay, shut up. Those seals are annoying. Alright. Till tomorrow. Alright, guys, so. Getting the coals going. This is all natural hardwood uh, charcoal. So, let's wait until they whiten up a bit. Just a little bit of that and get her going. Yep, have me a couple of burgers before I go to bed. <coughs> Anchor hasn't moved yet, so hopefully it's latched in good, but wait till these coal up a little bit and then uh, when the flames stop I'll close the lid make sure it gets all nice and white those charcoals and then put my burgers on but while it's doing that I'm gonna be jumping in <laughs> alrighty so you see I just used the wood from my hatch here just use the wood underneath and uh, keep anything from getting on the actual boat itself. Well, I want to have me a uh, bucket shower in my cockpit because it just drains down there and then out the back. But she's a beauty night. I, I did get a sunset, but now uh, that storm cloud is hanging over me. <laughs> Okay, cheers guys. Enjoy life while you can. Most of the cormorans are gone, but now it's all bloody seagulls. <laughs> cormorans, they hate people, so they'll run away. Seagulls, they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> well guys, as you can tell, I, pr I moved. Um, I don't know how well you can hear it, but lake's pretty rough over there got up in the middle of the night and had some about four foot rollers boat kept crashing down and crashing down this is just sitting at anchor <laughs> so i moved the boat around here um just come around the point there and we're in some nice calm water so later on i'm gonna head up over there go ashore take a walk around just having coffee get up some dishes we're styling <laughs> I wish I had a little more Sun though but uh, I knew this was coming for the next day or two so the only reason is because I need power <laughs> but we're still doing good my battery's hovering around 11.6 so Hopefully get some sun and get her back above 12. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so when we go ashore, uh, 
We'll break out again. All right, cheers.